Hello guys, you probably have already had some surface issues on your 3D models and sometimes you don't understand what can be the issue and what, what's causing them. After watching this video, I hope you will never ever have any surface issues on your 3D models again. You can see that this car has really good topology. The quads are relatively uh, same size all over the model. The surface of the model works very well with the uh, light and to check that I will go to the matte cap and check this shader and you can see that the car interacting with the light really well. The only thing I will change right now is I will uh, subdivide it a couple of times so because this is pretty low right now so i will select and select object pieces and hit ctrl 2 and you can see this immediately immediately looking much better to understand the difference between good and bad topology i will take this part of the car and and duplicate it with shift D and I will mess this one up I will simply add some lines here uh, not lines but the edges here and there and do it for example like this it will start looking weird and I even didn't move any points like that to make bumps. I just added the edges. So you can see immediately the difference. Another simple but very good experiment that I want to show you guys <clears throat> that will help us to understand how topology matters when objects are bending so I have four planes here and they look um, pretty same but if I will apply the um, shiny material they look all same but if I will go to wireframe mode you can see that they are completely different in in terms of the topology and only these two looks same but this this one is good this is proper in the edit mode and if I will go in the edit mode with this one you can see that this one has a lot of n-gons that means the polygons with more than four edges one two three four five and the same and and gons are also very bad um, because when you subdivide it uh, you will uh, right away see the uh, issues with the surface so let's do our experiment right i will switch off the um, the wireframe and bend it a little bit And this is working really good because it has clean topology the um, everything is consist uh, everything is consisted of um, clean quads all quads are the same size and this this is what what's called perfect topology so this is working really well and if we go here and I just randomize the vertices and let's see how it will work and right away we can see the deformations of the surface and even if I switch off the um, wireframe we can see the artifacts here and here 
and if I will want to subdivide it and in the production of the movies they normally used uh, subdivided models we can see what will happen again we still uh, it's looking better because now there are a lot more polygons in the model but still this is not perfect like this is reflecting perfectly here but here you can see how it reflects in a very weird way that's all because of this <laughs> polygons yeah so let's go to the next one these are um, some not perfect quads but it's not that bad as this one but still the quads are not um, same size it's more like of uh, rectangular size, size. Um, so let's go and see and again we can see some shading issues here and if I switch off the wireframe you can see the difference how it behaves and this one is the last one um, it looks everything the same as uh, as one with the perfect quads but I have added some points here and there just to show you that N-Gons are bad even so it has a perfect quad shape but you have more than uh, four edges in one polygon and it it works very bad when especially when it's subdivided so I just selected two vertices and subdivided and added some more and if I, I will just deform it It looks good but in some places like here we have some surface issues and that's because we have a point here somewhere it reflects and somewhere it's not showing but it's unacceptable for the production and if I will subdivide this one, you can see even more of those things here and there. And it's because um, when we subdivide it, um, let me apply this subdivision modifier. Uh, when we use subdivision modifier, um, uh, the algorithms works like um, it gets rid of um, N-Gons automatically and making all the quads but you can see it uh, it's not perfect uh, equal sized quads anymore on the surface and we also having here the poles the poles mean these um, the stars with the five edges uh, connecting in one point and they normally uh, working very bad in the um, banded objects and especially when you do hard surface modeling it's good to avoid those on the banded surface and if i will subdivide this one this is the most perfect and this one this has some reflection issues, this is perfect, and this has some reflection issues of course. This has some minor issues but still, yeah, this is the worst. Another example of very bad topology I will show you right now. So this model is looking 
pretty good from the distance but if we bring it close you can see how weird things are happening here in the mouse and I even didn't use a automatic retopology for this one so just wanted to practice my sculpting skills so didn't bother too much about it but but you can see what's happening so if I will want to make it to have it cleaner I definitely need to make a retopology for this one just for the sake of experiment I will make here um, a quick retopology with quadri measure and let's see how it will look for example this one is 300,000 and yeah faces let's make it 100,000 and remesh with squad remesher add-on and let's see what's happening there and yeah now it's looking much cleaner it's looking good it's looking much better and uh, optimized it's only 92,000 polygons so yeah all right guys i hope you found this video useful and i think that you will have never any issues anymore with your topology with the surface because after all those experiments that we did uh, you you should have understand now uh, how to fix those issues actually it's not very hard it's simple and if you like this video hit like that will help uh, promoting this video and more people can see it and if you want to see more this kind of videos about topology and retopology and sculpting in blender um, hit subscribe and i will see you guys in the next ones bye bye